Welcome in to the Fun Astrology Podcast. Thomas Miller coming to you from the van from Central Florida again. We'll start weaving into the podcasts where we are at given times. That'll be part of the part of the fun of this. It's going to be here for uh, for a little while. But uh, I wanted to go into a couple of more extrusions of what we were talking about yesterday. Thanks for joining us, by the way. Tuesday, January 4th, Capricorn season, and a lot of Aquarian season. And that's what I thought we would talk about a little bit today. Yesterday, we did the 10,000-foot lay of the land. Let's break down two components of what's going on in the chart right now. And one is the sign of Capricorn and what's in there. The other is the sign of Aquarius and what's in there. So let's take on Capricorn first because the sun's in there. It's first on the zodiacal order, and we're going to talk about it first here. (laughs) That's what we're going to do. All right, so here is what is in Capricorn right now. The sun, and today as we are waking up this morning, is at 14 degrees, 4 minutes. So almost halfway through its Capricorn excursion. Next is Venus in retrograde. Right now, walking its way back to where it uh, will eventually turn direct again on the 29th. Right now, it's at 21 degrees of Capricorn. And Pluto getting ready for its United States return on Janu- on February 20th is at 26 degrees, 2 minutes of Capricorn. So we have the Sun, Venus in retrograde, and Pluto. Now let's synthesize this a little bit. Let's think about what Capricornian energy is showing up in our lives. And where is Capricorn in your own chart? What house is it in? Because certainly the areas that that house controls are going to be some of the places where you are going to see and feel and sense some of these energies. Now, again, this is one of those areas that we could spend way more time than we take on this podcast to discuss. But let's just boil this down. Let's go to the cut and chase here. And let's look at a side of Capricorn that I think is most reflected by the characters that we just described. That side of Capricorn is the side that represents the old structures. The old, it's like the bread that's about to go moldy. In other words, the things that used to serve really well but don't serve anymore. Capricorn gives us the thrust and the strength and the determination and the the dogged mountain goat commitment to climb the mountain. And then we find out we climbed the wrong mountain. What do we do? Because we didn't update our operating system. That's Aquarius, actually. (laughs) We'll talk about that in a second. See, we had to come all the way around, right? You got 12 signs between that operating system update for it to get old. So as we're looking at the energies of the Sun, Venus in retrograde, Pluto in Capricorn, what does this make us think of? Well, now let's move over to Venus in retrograde. Now we're revisiting, aren't we? We're reconstructing, we're reanalyzing what? Well, relationships, money, what serves us as far as our own physical surroundings or beauty, perhaps what we allow into our life, what keeps us harmonious, what keeps us sane, what do we love, truly love, and also how are we handling our money, how are we handling our finances. Now before we pull all of this together, let's think about Pluto. Pluto is in direct motion right now, but as I mentioned yesterday, On the 6th, it starts a very slow entry into its own shadow to go retrograde on April 29th. So let's take that Venusian list that we just created and ask the question, what needs to be transformed? What, in the context of Capricorn, that side of Capricorn that we're talking about, not the determination, not the mountain goat put your head down. Have you ever watched a goat ram something in person? It is the most funny thing in the world. They put their head down, they take about three steps back, they kind of bounce their head a little bit, and then <laughs> they just take off running, and it is boom! You know, the, now you the cartoon thing where it knocks the object 50 yards down the way. I mean, that's one side of Capricorn. It is sheer determination. But another side of Capricorn is what no longer serves. What's Pluto about? Death and rebirth of dot, dot, dot. And sitting right in between them is Venus. Oh, my. 
we are looking at some transformational areas of, you know, when people seek astrology readings, typically they want to know about career, money, and often relationship. What are we talking about? Career, money, and relationship. So the question becomes, what are you holding on to? What moldy bread is in that sack on the countertop that you just refuse to throw away? Or what has been identified that needs to change? Pluto wants to. Little elbow in the ribs there. Hey, let's move on. Let's update this. Let's move it into Aquarius. And yet you won't throw the darn thing away. Hanging on to what doesn't serve. That is such a clear picture of what is going on in that Capricornian energy right now and how you could bring this really into your own life is go back, like we said at the beginning, and find where Capricorn is in your chart. And that house and the characteristics of that house are further areas of that energy that wants to to work in your life there in that area. All right, I mentioned at the beginning we would talk about Aquarius. Well, Capricorn got the whole show, so we'll do that tomorrow. You guys have a great day. Sending you all kinds of love from the Fun Astrology Sprinter Van. Have a great day. See you back tomorrow. Tomorrow.